Everybody is obsessed lately with morning routines and who has the longest or most expensive morning routine. Some people even masturbate over who has the longest. What did he say? Hey. Oh. Or the most expensive morning routine. So let's see what Alex Formosi, an incredibly successful fitness business owner, likes to do first thing in the morning. I think that the morning really actually starts the night before. I plan the night before. I know what I'm going to do the moment I wake up. And then upon waking up, I pretty much just- The old saying, fail to prepare, prepare to fail. So I'm actually one of these people as well who I need to do something the night before. I need to make sure that I'm getting to bed on a normal time because otherwise I'll just sit in a hole of TikTokness watching honey badgers fight every single animal on earth. I am also a self-proclaimed binge eater. So, if I'm in bed, I can't be a gluttonous fuck. Waking up, I pretty much just start getting to work and I have my first four, six hours of the day dedicated to moving those things forward. The second thing is I try and decrease the amount of decisions that I have to make throughout the day. So, no more nice baths, no vinegar in coffee, no butter, no grounding. Straight in there like swimmer. I know a lot of people who do this and they get by on task completion release or that endorphin release from getting a, a task just done instead of fucking around trying to prep for stuff and essentially pro procrastinating before they get into the day. And a lot of the time, because I sometimes do this, I will try and get the most difficult, hardest jobs done first thing in the morning because otherwise, when it comes to afternoon, I have no mental capacity whatsoever to make good, solid decisions or just apply my time to do anything. The second thing is I try and decrease the amount of decisions that I have to make throughout the day. I eat the same thing every day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. This will probably sound quite strange to a lot of people, but if you actually ask yourself, how many meals do you on your conveyor belt or the things that you eat daily and you know how to prepare, how many meals you actually alternate between? 10, eight, if you take a deep dive into this, you probably operate on that amount of meals because nobody is a fucking Michelin chef who's preparing different types of cuisines for every meal of every day of every week. And to be honest, I eat the same thing every single day. It takes away that option or paralysis by analysis. So without having those many options and I just generally enjoy eating the same thing every single day. Although I wouldn't be eating skanky, sweaty beef. The third piece is set an alarm for your bedtime rather than your wake up time. It's a tiny little hack and I think it'll do you a lot of good. Those are the things that have actually yielded me disproportionate returns. Done this, like I said before, I had to use to set myself a bedtime alarm, which can often be more important, especially if you're a snacker or like me, a bit of a binge eater, because you can't be a gluttonous fat pig when you are asleep. It's the only time in the day you can physically not eat. I've tried the saying things out loud, the affirmations. I've tried all of these different things. The things that stuck were the things that were simple. And I think that a lot of times people who look into all these productivity hacks, look into all these routines, many times use that as a crutch to feel productive rather than actually getting work done. 100% agree. I think people these days loves a little bit of mental masturbation, which is in itself procrastination instead of just diving into that pending doom of tasks that they know they realistically need to do. I think some people can probably take a lot away from this morning routine, even though it's come from a millionaire fitness business owner who doesn't live a life anything like you. There's a lot to be said for just doing the thing, cracking on and moving forward before all the excuses and the procrastination and the fucking around your phone start coming into play and taking you away from the thing you actually need to get done to move you forward. However, for me, I'm actually quite an anxious person in the morning. So I need to get up, get in the zone where I'm pretty blunt. I imagine it's like sharpening the pen. So I need to sharpen myself before I then apply myself the rest of the day. So the first things I usually do, read for 15 minutes, so it's not a huge chunk of time. I will then start getting some email and writing. So doing the shit that I probably don't want to do first, known as swallowing the flog. Vlog. I will then plan some stuff for the day content. Next, we'll start getting to physical. So ice bath for three minutes. Again, like I said previously, if I can set my arse for three minutes and it makes me feel better, it's a win for me. Then I will train and then start getting into some of the rest of the tasks for the day. And that's pretty much my morning routine. It maybe takes, with work included, before I get into training, two hours. So if you're one of those people who doesn't have a multi-layered, in-depth, morning routine which configures of chemicals grounding sunlight and whatever else is being pushed upon you don't worry because i think you can take a lot from alex hormozy and his real simple analysis of morning routine to apply it to your own day and you get shit done <laughs>